Hello everyone and welcome to DIY D365. In this video, we will talk about patient management app. Um, I did post a blog about this uh, probably a couple of weeks ago and I did say video coming soon. So this video is about that. We will look into the functionality of the app as well as we'll go to the functions and formulas and the screens. Uh, we will also look into the model driven app behind it coming up right after the intro all right so here's the app uh, on my screen you can clearly see a landing page now it says welcome to DIYD365 clinic I'm a patient or I'm a doctor so it's meant for both doctors and patients um, so you can install it in your clinic and maybe allow your uh, clinic reception person to act as a patient so they can then register patients and consultations for the patients uh, and the doctors can use it themselves uh, on their uh, mobile device so that's how it should work so let's look at patients first so if I click here there are two op options available, registration and consultation, and it clearly tells you if it's your first visit or you're already registered. You can again click here to go back. So you go back to home screen. If I click here, and let's start with patient registration. So I click here and enter just that and that and whatever mobile phone and maybe an email which can be and I can then click a picture it's not showing my face because this video is without my face so if I click here it takes a picture and makes it round and then I can hit save and it saves me in the system as a patient. So that part is done. Now we can go back to home and book a consultation. Um, since I've already registered, I'll find so that's my name, which I've just registered myself. Priority, low, the time, start time, end time, they're defaulted to, uh, this one is defaulted to now, and this is now plus 15 minutes. Uh, and I can just stick here and I will save it take me back to the home patient's home screen um, now let me act like a doctor here I'll go back to the landing page and click I'm a doctor I need to look at my consultations or I need to look at my patient so two options provided for them uh, we will first see my patients so that gives you a list of patients and this is based on so this gallery is filtered based on uh, my active contacts um, so basically my patients and the owner whose server is logged in will be able to see only their contacts or patients now i can create a new patient so that's the patient registration or i can go back to home if i go back to home it takes to my doctor's home uh, and not the landing screen so now I can click on consultations and they are arranged by um, latest so the latest one first so that's the one we just did and uh, then the doctor can click on details like here so they can get it here um, now what they need to do is in order to add um, prescriptions they need to click on this here if I click here I can then recommend things so let's say I just want to say bed rest for two days um, and I'll say others I know this is not really practical but the whole purpose is you can use this as an example and extend your app so then I hit save and will take me back and you can see that now I have provided two options here whether you want to send the medical certificate to your patient or not and also your patient can ask to put in 
a pharmacist of their choice. So if I click here and let me just do property one, just consider it pharmacy one. So I've said yes to send the medical certificate and I've selected a pharmacist there so that the prescription can be sent to the pharmacist. It depends on the country you're living in, uh, whether it's allowed or not. Um, but then I'll just hit save and I will save the form. So if I go back here, I'll be able to see it. Now, that's all this does. This app does uh, on the mobile, but there's more to it on the on the model driven app. So we will quickly look at it and then we will go to um, power apps make.powerapps.com so you can see what's done behind the scene so all right so clinic management uh, model driven app so this is um, the dashboard and you can see consultations by day uh, this one is for today um, consultations by doctors so you have all three doctors there and the number of consultations they have um, consultations by priority and patients, um, patients by doctors, as in how many patients are handled by each doctor, um, patients by pharmacists, which pharmacists they go to more. That tells you that helps you to recommend a pharmacy to a patient. If everybody goes to this one, um, obviously you can recommend that one. And then we will go to patients. Um, this is the patient form, so all the basic details, etc., uh, etc. Et you can also look at their consultations. Uh, you can also look at their prescriptions back here. So basically, this model-driven app would be uh, probably seen by doctors. Um, what we will do actually is go to the contact we just created on the app, so you can see um, the medical certificate, etc. Okay, so the patient we just created was, no, because, yeah, this one. So this one we created just now, and we can now see what has happened. So you can see what has happened here is your medical certificate as well as your prescription, right? Because on the consultation for this guy, so if we go here, we can see that I've said yes to medical certificate and both my prescription and medical certificate are running from this field. So that's why it has sent both medical certificate as well as prescription. Um, so that's that. This is the consultation form you can see. I've created a custom field called patient. Doctor is basically the owner. Then you have drugs and dosage. This is nothing but products. So that's that. Pharmacists are nothing uh, but accounts in the system. So that's your model driven app. Quickly looking at prescriptions, you can see that. So that's how you select. Basically, medicine is product lookup. And then you have a consultation lookup. You have a patient lookup. That's, that's why it connects everything to the patient so that you can report on it. Um, I've shown you the consultation form already. This is where the uh, prescription should be. Now we will go jump into the Power App. So here it is. So that's your landing screen. So I've done nothing here. There, these are images. You can see uh, whatever their name is, and on select of that, I'm going to different screens so it's very basic that's that uh, patient home screen so that's again patient's home screen i've added two buttons and i'm navigating to different screens from there simple as and this one takes you back to the home um, then we have register patient so register patient if you look at um, i have explained this to you in my blog formula um, so this is just a contact form uh, where you've got a save button and go back to the home, uh, field names, etc., etc. And then you, I have put in uh, camera control here. And when I click on that, it collects a picture here. So that's what is happening. So 
if I go to camera and I see the on select so I'm collecting the photo uh, from here and that's what I put in my entity image so um, image here so that's collect that's taking the camera one photo and I've explained this to uh, you over the blog every power apps formula also in my visitor sign in app so that's similar so that's your registration form and consultation is your appointment form here where I've defaulted uh, the date and time so um, if I go to my component here and I see the default it will tell you now and the default for end time would be um, now plus 0 0.25 so that's that so that's how that's done and closing that then we have doctor's home screen again we have a back button to go back to the home and we have got two buttons here which navigate to you uh, you to two different screens my patient again as you've got some buttons here I'm sure you know it this is the search item this all comes default when you add a new screen with list this all comes by default uh, and then if I click on my gallery so this is basically this GUID is actually active my active contact um, now you'll ask me why did I do it this way instead of just selecting the view I haven't I did do my active contacts but when I open the app today somehow I'm able to see this so I don't know why this happened but still it gives me correct results so I'm not bothered now similarly if I go to my consultations this uh, gallery here is again my appointments so that's that um, if now I go to consultation details when we click here it takes us to the details now this is appointment details form um, I've just uh, selected my preferred fields here so that's why it is like this now if you look at this prescription that was a custom entity so what I've done here you can see the data table and I've then changed the color etc from here so heading fill is so I've tried to match it to my background image so that's why uh, the color has changed but it's just um, um, data table and then I've filtered it with the ID of this gallery so whatever we select in gallery 3 which is appointments gallery so which is basically this detail here and that's what that is um, consult form is basically appointment form and then you have add prescription which is a new uh, prescription form so that's that now if you have a question that how did I do my email thing on my patient so if I go here this is basically uh, nothing this is a word template so you have this feature here so you've got word template you'll see them loading so I've got medical certificate and patient prescription that gets generated when in the appointment I say yes to it um, it comes out of the box that you can set an action uh, under your workflows and generate the template automatically based on the condition so that's how I'm doing it now it is a word document which is not recommended you should always be doing this in PDF um, so what you can do is utilize Microsoft flow to convert word documents to PDF um, with the help of OneDrive or SharePoint somehow I'm sure there's so many articles around you can do it I didn't do it because um, my purpose wasn't to show you how to convert to PDF so if I click on that I can show you the medical certificate so basically very simple I've created a template dates and times and a signature um, image kind of thing and similarly if I go to prescription um, it shows you the prescription table so whatever I've said there it's written here that's quite simple um, but you can send it to both patient and pharmacy depending if the patients want so so that's about it
Thank you for watching. Have a good day.